Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. We're going to go over the trailer here for the AEW Fight Forever uh, IGN Fest trailer that they did this morning. They didn't reveal Jack, and I took the time to edit out all the real footage because with the last couple trailers, they've been very copyright, uh, not copyright strike, but copyright claim happy. So that's probably, probably the bigger YouTubers aren't covering this as much. is because they're like, fine, we're not going to risk our channel because you're going to copyright everything. Because they keep throwing in real footage of the of matches and stuff in their trailers. So it's like, oh. So I did it all the real footage. I'll have a link to the trailer in the description below. Plus, I made a community post with the trailer in it. So you can go check it out yourself. Um, let's, let's break down the gameplay here and go from there. All right, I'm going to be pausing a lot, so get warm. So we already know the entrances are going to be super short, just like No Mercy was. Probably did that to save time, which kind of sucks because some of the music is really good. Uh, this is Daniel Bryan versus Adam, Adam Page. I just got off work, so I'm trying to get this up as soon as possible. And you can see here, we got outside dives. Animations look pretty good. I mean, a little janky, but... Starting from scratch, they look pretty darn good. They probably don't have that capture. And some of these moves are sick, so I'll just watch the whole thing and then we'll go back and go through it. And the blood effects are still there. They're probably just not covered in blood. That's probably what they had to remove. Like I said, I edited out a lot of the moves. And you see how quick it is when you take out all the stuff? Alright, so the short entrance is... It looks like, is he going to be the default champion? Is that when this game was taking place, mostly? face is kind of... It, that kind of gives you a look at the character creator, too. If you think about it. Because I'm guessing they're going to let you manipulate it quite a bit. Beards look good. Hair looks decent. I mean, these are both... Eh, it looks alright. I like it. I really like the stage. Too bad we don't have full entrances. That kind of sucks. And then the moves here... Let's get to some moves. So we got cool outside dives. And look at the running animation. I think that's exactly like the running animation in 2K. What was that? 2K? Not 2K. <laughs> or like WrestleMania 19. Have you, you see that? See that running animation? That looks like an old animation from the Aki games. That's cool. You got dive attacks. The arena looks amazing. You got jumping off attacks. You got finishers out there. I like his jump attack thing. The jumping, I figure what it's called. I don't watch. I watched AEW a lot when it first started, but once the once Cody left and Punk did all that stupid crap, and he left or was forced out because he got injured and said all that crap, uh, I, I haven't watched it hardly at all since. Still got some really good wrestlers over there. Let's see. So we got some. The moves look really good. I like how they have the jump off the rope thing. I was curious if they were, like, how in depth they were going to get with the moves. So it looks like they're using the high flying uh, techniques they made in the 2K series, like that. So that's cool. So you have to go outside and set them up. But is the is there going to be a way to make them dazed? Because he doesn't look dazed there. He looks like he's just standing there taking the move. So watch this. See, he looks fine. So I'm curious if there's going to be like a dazed state, like where they're like, Ugh. and then you could just boom and do the move, or if you have to time it just right to hit them as they're walking towards you, because that would be kind of difficult to do. So anyway, they didn't reveal uh, anything. They didn't say when the game's coming out. Uh, they literally just, and they, they did all these questions for this interview, and they dodged the when the heck is the game coming out, right? Um, so they asked the superstars, Don Hall, Danhausen, um, some stupid questions about a video game. Rate this out of this, and it's like, can we just talk about the game? Like, we need some information. <laughs> Waiting, supposed to come out last year, then it got delayed, and then this all this teen and mature rated stuff happened. So the ESRB thing happened, uh, and based off this. This is like this looks like it's gonna be the final build of the game, and you're showing this little. Uh, I have a feeling there's something wrong with the game. 
Either that or they're just keeping it really close to the chest because they're worried about WWE 2K23. I mean, 2K23 is going to be a monster game, right? Because it's an established franchise. They're building off of an engine that they've been using for 20 plus years. This is starting from scratch, but they're going to compare the two because they, they compare the, the shows, so they're definitely going to compare the games. So they're probably worried that they're going to be put under a microscope, especially with 2K23 coming out in less than a month. So anyway, I'll, I'll keep uh, making videos as they show stuff. Um, but yeah, what a bummer. I was listening to this as I was uh, working. I had I, Luckily I had a head thing on so you couldn't see my headphones. And I'm looking like, okay, release date, release date, release date, no release date. And I'm like, man, I was pretty bummed out. But hopefully they'll announce a release date in the next coming weeks. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't expect to hear anything of this game until the later half of the year. Because they're probably, like I said, going to try to avoid 2K23. That game is going to be, uh, like I said, a monster. Especially with WrestleMania around the corner. They're probably waiting until all that's dead and done. Or has, you know, the hype has died off a little bit. Then they'll announce their game, right? Right when everybody's sick and tired of 2K23, they'll, they'll announce this. And hopefully get some love for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And stay frosty.